It's Cinco de Mayo, and you know what that means. That means it's time for some Mexican food. That's right. Welcome back to Brick Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brickman. Now, I wanted to get some tacos and margaritas, and I might do that later today. But my friend Kate has me jonesing for pizza. Jonesing! I can't. I just, I gotta have some pizza. So, what did I do? I got a taco pizza from Godfather's. Oh, that's right, baby. Oh, now... Real quick, Cinco de Mayo is a, a holiday in Mexico. Nobody knows what it means, and nobody knows why we celebrate it. But Americans celebrate it because about every six weeks, we need an excuse to drink. Yeah, been six weeks for St. Patty's Day. By the way, nobody knows who St. Patrick's was either. Cinco de Mayo, Mexican food and margaritas. Or taco pizza. Now, I always made fun of these. Like, I didn't like these growing up. I've never been a big fan. But for some reason, I've actually grown to like taco pizza. See, I can mature. My palate's maturing. I'm, I could grow as a human and a, a food lover. Oh, dude, this thing weighs like 40 pounds, by the way. Now, this isn't just any taco pizza. This is the super taco pizza. Dude, <laughs> look at this. Look at all this taco sauce and and sour cream. Oh, that's right, because a taco pizza from Godfather's has spicy taco sauce, beef, onions, cheddar, mozzarella, lettuce, tomatoes, and more cheddar. But the super taco adds the black olives and the sour cream. And who doesn't love black olives and sour cream? I mean, come on, it's Cinco de Mayo. Let's get this baby out. I love these little packs of sour cream. Look at this. This is so cool. I got it upside down. Ah, uh, yeah, but they are and they're frozen. They're so cold. And good news, it expires tomorrow. So we're safe. Open that up. I'm gonna throw down some sour cream. I'm gonna throw, throw down some sour cream. You gotta get some taco sauce. Come on, baby, get that taco sauce. Ooh, sour cream, taco sauce on my taco pizza. Oh yeah. I've never had sour cream on a pizza. This is the first time I've ever had the super taco. I've had the taco pizza, but I figured being it's a holiday, I would try it. You know what I'm saying? Mmm, mmm. I love that thick, that that crust of, of Godfather's and that that just thick layer of cheese on there. Oh, it's so yummy. Oh my God. And that beef and onions and tomatoes and the lettuce. The lettuce is weird, but I don't know. I kind of like it. Mmm. I got to get one of these olives. Hold on. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I love that salty olive taste. Mmm. Not green olives, though. I'm not a big fan of green olives. I like the black ones. Put some more of that taco sauce on there. Ooh-wee. Mmm. If you've never had a taco pizza, man, I'm telling you, you've got to try it. This is a wild experience. It is a mesh of tacos and pizza. And what could be better than that? So, Godfather's is a great one to try. I know some other places have them. Not a lot of taco pizzas around the DFW area. Um, so, if you're in the area and you know some good taco pizzas, I'm in. They did open a Casey's up in Van Alstine, and they have taco pizza. Uh, and I think it's like 14 bucks today. But uh, it's a little far from my house, so I didn't want to drive all the way up there. And I love Godfather's. So, hey. I'm going to finish eating this pizza. You have a wonderful Cinco de Mayo. I appreciate you. I appreciate all those likes, comments, and subscribes. Hit that next video if you want to watch the next one. And until next time, keep getting taco pizza from Godfathers. And we'll see you.